Good morning, guys. Rebecca Black here, owner and creative director for Keep Me Safe Worldwide. Today, I wanted to show you guys how to get a salon quality blowout at home using the same products that you've already been using on your face. Crazy, I know. But I spent 15 years behind the chair, and the number one thing that clients would always say is they were never able to get their hair as smooth as they get it whenever I blow it out for them in the salon. So I wanted to give you guys a few of my best tips and tricks for a salon quality blowout at home. So to get started, this is freshly washed hair. You can see it is about 80% dry. I'm naturally curly and I've had this up in a towel. Um, my ends are completely dry and the base there right at my scalp is still really, really damp. So what I am going to do is for my very long hair, I'm going to use three pumps of the Squalene Serum. And to that, I am going to add three pumps of the Citrus Toner. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. However much of one you add, you add the same amount of the other. So you cup that in the palm of your hand, rub that together to make a really amazing mixture in your hands. This is the important part because this is where you get into the little bit of the technical part. So then you're going to put this in the mid shaft to ends. Now do you see how I've kind of grabbed it with my fingertips? I didn't just slick it right on. So that is your tip number one. Comb this through mid shaft to ends with your fingertips before you get into your palms. So you want to make sure that your fingertips, that part there, you've rubbed off the majority of all of the product. And then you come in and then you can re-emulsify everything and really get in there and work it into the ends. But again, stay away from the scalp. You don't want to put anything near the scalp. So that is step one. It is evenly distribute equal parts of the serum and the toner from mid shaft to ends. Hi guys, Rebecca Black here, owner and creative director for Keep Me Safe Worldwide. Today, I am walking you through how I achieve a salon quality blowout and how I coached my clients of over 15 years to get the same results at home with a few simple tips and tricks. So step one was that we evenly distributed equal parts of serum and toner from mid shaft to ends on hair that is about 80% dry. Then the second step of that is going to be what we refer to in the industry as drying your base. So the base of your hair is the two inches closest to the base of your hair all the way around. So you can see that I have naturally wavy and curly hair. And so I have a really strong curl that goes back like this and it will twirl. So anytime you see a very strong growth pattern like that in your hair, what you will need to do is you will need to put a lot of tension to get that hair to go the opposite way. So if this hair goes back this way, we're gonna wanna blow dry this hair that way on the base. So we're going to start working the base. I am working with a Babyless Pro Nano Titanium. They're my favorite at home heat tools. They last the longest and uh, they give a great result and they're very easy to use. So. We're gonna start drying the base, and again, we're gonna start drying the hair. We're just getting as much volume as possible out of it. So I'm gonna turn this on high and give you guys a couple of sneak peek seconds as to what I do. So I want you guys to notice that I did a lot of up and against the way that the hair goes off 
of my head. So this hair naturally goes down. So you notice that I pulled it all the way up and blew it straight that way. So it does not matter what your ends look like at this point because all we are doing is blow drying that base. But you see, I lifted all of this up, all of this part in here is lifted up and this growth pattern here, I didn't get it all the way out and that's okay. I'm gonna keep working on that and that will come in the smoothing part there. But you can see that it's not going straight back anymore and that's all just from putting a good bit of tension right there on that base blowout. So I'm gonna finish the base blowout here and then I'll join you back here in a few minutes. So as you can see, we have the complete base of our hair done now. So this whole process takes me about five minutes and you will notice that I have a lot of volume. I can part on either side if I want to, but for today's look, I want to do a side part like this. So another thing you're going to notice is that this hair down here is now about 95% dry and your entire root structure for about two inches from your scalp should be completely dry. So at this point in the blowout, all we're going in and doing is we are smoothing the hair for a really smooth and sleek blowout. So what I want you to do is I want you to find the base of your ears right there. Take your pointer fingers and then just loosely guide those around until you pull yourself a ponytail. Then you are going to wrap this hair around. I am using a jaw clip like this. You can use any type of sectioning device that you have at home. So for me, I always like to section on both sides here because it's really hard to to go straight down in your back. And I'll scoot back a little further in my chair so you can see that there's no hair on my back and I do it both sides. If you section and you feel like this is still a little wet from your scalp to a few inches down, just go ahead and hit your base for a few more moments with the blow dryer before you start doing your brush with brush work. So it's completely normal to lose about 100 hairs a day, especially uh, if you don't brush your hair. I'm a person who does not brush my hair, so whenever I'm in the shower, I feel like I'm losing a lot of hair, but in reality, it's because I wear my hair curly or up in ponytails a lot of the time, and so that hair isn't able to naturally fall down. So whenever you're doing a blowout, remember that you are putting more tension on your hair than you normally do, so don't freak out whenever you see or feel hair coming down. So we're gonna get started with a ceramic and ion brush. Olivia Garden are my favorite at-home brushes. The handles are bigger and they have a nice um, material on them that, that, doesn't, that doesn't slip. So again, we have our hair on both sides of us so we can see that it's a little fuzzy. And what we're going to do is on the left side here, we're gonna come behind with our left hand and you notice I'm just kinda like lightly twirling this. And then I want all of that hair on the brush and I want it to be pretty tight, you know, just a nice little snug, little snug nature there. Okay, so then when I go behind it, I'm gonna pull it down and we're gonna be directing this hair all the way down. The air is going in the direction of the hair, which is down, 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 because that's going to create the smoothness. So we have the heat protectant and the amino acids from the squalane and the toner on our hair already, so we don't have to worry about heat damaging our hair at this stage of the game. So I'm gonna put the blow dryer on high heat and do this for a few minutes for you guys so you can see exactly how I get the really smooth hair. You just work it down. You always wanna make sure that the air is blowing straight down the cuticle of your hair and keep the blow dryer moving Feel it heating up on your neck, that's completely normal. And just keep moving. So you notice I'm twirling the brush. And twirling the brush actually puts the bend on the end that you see in salon blowout. You know how your stylist gets that beautiful, beautiful little bend on your end? This is exactly where that comes from. So we're gonna let that cool and we keep it moving as we let it cool. So you can see how I have created a very smooth, no frizz. This is all hair from another section there. No frizz with a tiny bit of bend on the end. 
so it looks like this on the other side. So I switch hands to my right side. I come behind. I get that hair wrapped, wrapped around. Make sure we don't have any tangles in there, okay? And then we begin to blow out. Actually, on this side, I'm doing it backwards. So I'm going to roll it forward, okay, so that I can pull it down because we want it, everything to go down. So then you come with a blow dryer on this side. Again, you're directing the air down the hair, down the shaft of the hair. So you just keep that up, keep it moving, keep it moving. And if it's easier for you to do it on this side, don't be afraid to do it on this side too. The biggest thing is you want to make sure that the air is blowing down the shaft of the hair and to keep it moving as well. Now, if you're anything like me, you are better at one side than you are the other. I'm always better at this side than I am the other side. So don't freak out whenever you get it done and you're like, oh, well, one has a little more curl or one's just a tiny bit more smooth. But you're gonna be able to see, even though I'm stronger on this side than I am on this side, I am still at a very smooth blowout with a beautiful little bend on the ends. So we're gonna continue that process and our next section is going to be pull that clip out. Our first section was at the bottom of the ears. The second section is gonna be the middle of your ears. So just find those, shake out your previous parting, pull your fingers together until they meet in the back, pull that new section of hair down. And remember guys, this hair should be about 95% dry. So at this point, all you'll be doing is really smoothing. And again, we're going to pull that hair in the middle on each side and we are going to begin doing our smooth blowout on this side so because you're working with a little more hair here give it a little bit of a brush when i say a little more hair this is a little bit thicker section than right there on that hairline and so again we're going to want that air to be directed down the shaft of the hair so for this section here, I do not wrap the hair all the way around at the beginning of the blow dry. I get enough tension on there that I can really just dry, 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 dry and get really, really smooth with the round brush just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started for you guys. Again, I have the heat on high because I have all the heat protection already in my hair. Then I'm going to turn the blow dryer on high. And I'm going to switch hands because that is easier for me. So here we go. So again, we're working this air down the shaft of the hair. Down, down, down. Don't worry about the hair that's on the other side there. We're going to go over to it in just a few minutes. Okay, so you can just keep going until you move all the way down and that hair falls off. So you, that's how you do completely straight. And you'll want to do a few passes if you want a completely straight blowout. I want a little bit of bend on my end. So I like to really heat that hair up and get it nice and smooth and completely, completely bone dry. And you see, I'm not stopping this blow dryer at any point. I am continuing to move it and holding the tension and really getting in there to create a very smooth blowout. So like right now, I'm going to move down a little bit more and I'm beginning to wrap the hair around the tip of the brush. The hair is completely wrapped around the barrel of the brush right now. This brush is warm. I can feel it here on my shirt. And we just begin to slowly, slowly pull that hair and work that brush out. So that is how you create that soft bend in a bigger section. So as you can see, it is completely smooth, there's no frizz, and the hair is so soft. It's not sticky, it's not tingly, it is not oily. We're going to move over to the other side here. Come from behind, and then again, work it down, work it down, work it down. Keep that air moving, 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 and all I'm really doing is getting probably four to six inches past the base of my hair, just really, really dry and smooth. Because you're working that air down the shaft of the hair, it is smoothing the cuticle, it is drying the hair, and now you want to move to wrap the rest of the hair around the barrel of the brush. 
and we just keep moving it down, moving it down, moving it down. And we get that a few minutes to cool while we're still moving it to create that soft bend on the end. And we move the brush, and you can see we have another completely smooth and soft and silky end right there. So, you guys are going to continue that around the rest of your hair, and I'm going to join you guys back here whenever it comes to tackling the top part. Welcome back, you guys. So just to recap, what we just accomplished there is we just accomplished drying the entire back portion of our head. We have not done anything from the ears to the top of the crown forward. So to start with, we started at the bottom of our ears. We brought our fingers together and worked with that section. Then we moved to the middle of our ears, brought our fingers together and worked with that section. And the third section we worked with was from the top of our ears all the way across until our hands met right there. So you can see from the back view of the hair that all of the hair from the crown down is completely dry, it is completely smooth, it is very soft, very manageable, and there's just the slightest little bend on the ends. And now we are going to move into the most important part of the blowout, which is the face and the top portion here. So to get started here, we're going to remove our clip and we are going to hold this ponytail. And we're going to come to like right about the top of our eyebrow and we're going to pull the section of hair out on this side. We're going to pull this side out and then we are going to pull this side out. So that is all we're going to be working with on this side here. So we are going to re-secure that hair that we are not ready to work with yet on top of our head to keep it out of the way. And we're going to start working right here with all of these beautiful face framing layers that we have going on. So in the back part of the hair, we always worked in blowing down, 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 down the shaft of the hair. In the front portions of the hair, whenever you are picking this hair up, you're gonna do the same thing here. So it may be easier for you to go down like this, or it may be easier for you to come behind the hair and then put the blow dryer on the outside. One thing I want you to notice if you do decide to work with the blow dryer on the outside is that the air must blow the hair parallel to the blow dryer. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like now. Welcome back everybody. So we started at the back of our hair with our blowout. We got that nice and smooth with a little bit of bend on the ends. And then we moved into our side sections, creating a soft bend on all those facial framing layers that we have. And now we're moving into the money portion of the blowout, also known in the industry as the mohawk section. So the mohawk section here is this thin strip of hair that runs along the top of your head. So you can see it starts here at my hairline and then it stops right back here at the top of my crown. So when we go to blow out this section of hair here, what we're going to do is we're going to work in about an inch wide sections. And we're going to work from the back to the front because we're gonna blow all of this hair backwards. So for me, I like to pull it down to one side and then re-secure all of the hair that I'm not working with. And I usually put the hair in a little bit of a tighter bun whenever I'm working in this section, just so that I can see exactly what I am doing and working with. So you are going to grab your hair and then you're gonna put that brush behind it. And if you notice, I'm brushing forward, okay? And I'm showing you this action right here because I want you to see the direction that you're going to be blowing your hair, okay? So it's forward, 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 forward. Okay, so this is the area that we're concentrating on at first, this section right there. So we are, the hair comes out of the head right there, but we are pushing it forward. If I had to guess an angle, I would say probably about a 30 to a 45 degree angle. So that is the direction in which I am going to be blowing the hair. So for me, I am going to have the brush in my left hand and I'm going to have the blow dryer 
on high with high heat. You can use low with high heat if you want to, um, just for a little more air control. But we're gonna get started, turn it on high, and we're gonna be moving forward. So again, just like we did, instead of going down, we're moving forward, but we're rocking the air in constant motion, and we're going down the shaft of the hair. And we're slowly adding more and more and more distance away from our scalp right there. So we're just working, 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 and pay attention to the direction of that blow dryer. So you notice that hair is still running parallel to the floor, okay? So you can set it down. I'm just going to squeeze that right there in between my legs to make sure that I don't grab any extra hair that I don't need to work with right now. And I'm going to wrap that back around the barrel of the brush. And I felt that hair was getting nice and warm. So I'm going to give it a few more passes to really get it nice and hot. Because this is where the smoothing and the bombshell comes from. You're creating your volume by over-directing the hair. And by you pulling it forward like this, this is called over-direction. So this is called over-direction. This motion there, pulling that hair forward. So I just wrapped all of my hair around the brush right there just to kind of get it out of the way so you can see what it is that I'm talking about. So then you're going to allow that brush to sit right on the base of where you just started blow, blowing the hair out. So you're going to slowly work your brush out and continuing to brush through the ends of the hair. And so you see the volume right there because you just did an off base blowout. And then, so those are flyaways right there. Those are all new growth, which we all get excited when we see new growth. So that means our hair is still growing. And we will go back with the, uh, with the citrus toner and smooth all of those little flyaways right there. So again, these hairs are only this big. They're little, little hairs. They're only a few inches big. So there's not a whole lot you can do with those except for smooth them down. So then you move into the next little inch section of hair. And I set that to the side and I reclip my bang section out of the way and a nice tight little bun, wrap it all up, put the little clip right on it just like that. And then I grab this little section of hair right here I give it a comb through just to get any little excess tangles out of the ends. And then we're gonna start blowing this dry. Again, off the base so that we get a lot of volume. And we're keeping that air constantly, constantly moving. So we're going down, 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 down. The shaft of the hair for our ultimate smoothness. And we just keep it slowly moving until that hair falls completely out. And we're going to put that blow dryer right there. I'm squeezing it in between my legs. If you have a little holder at home, you're really welcome to do that. So then we give it a second pass down the shaft of the hair, really working on that volume and the smoothness. Okay, let the hair come all the way out. And then we give it that third and final pass once the hair feels nice and warm. You want that hair feeling nice and hot, and then you really concentrate on the ends there to get them nice and smooth. And again, we're allowing that hair to cool just a little bit and slowly work the brush out. So we're going to move that hair backwards. And then we are going to get our final section right here, okay? So the final section right here, we are going to work it backwards first to get the volume out of it, and then we're going to curl the end forward. So we're going to do the same thing that we've done with all of the other ones there. We're getting that, just have that base really nice and dry and warm and smooth. Getting any remaining wave patterns out of that hair really, really nice and smooth, and just let everything fall out as it goes. So you can see, again, everything is kind of like all smooth. So the section of hair that I was just blow drying was from here to here. So you can see how it's smooth, but anything past that point is not smooth because we haven't moved to that portion of the hair and what we're concentrating on. So I'm going to give 
with this one more half here because it's already nice and warm right there and I'm just going to let that hair fall out. And then I'm going to come in and begin working underneath this hair. So in working underneath the hair, all I'm really concentrating on is from this part down. So I need to get all of that wrapped around my brush. Okay? So the blow dryer is going to be on the very outside of the brush and we're using gentle pulling. You should not feel any any soreness or any tight tension when you're doing this. So you just kind of want to like rock it back and forth a few times and let that brush come down, 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 down the hair so you see it's beginning to form the curl. So we want to reinforce that and give it another go. So we're going to come down, wrap that hair around, wrap it around, wrap it around. Get it nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Okay, so at this point here, I want you to turn the blow dryer off and I want you to just slowly, slowly, slowly work this out. And I want you to just kind of feel the hair and you want the hair to feel nice and hot and it is a-okay to look like Cousin It at this point here. Okay, so this is a point that I don't want you to put your hands in your hair a whole lot while it's still really warm. So like I did wide fingers and ran them through and it still feels really warm. But now it's starting to cool down. But I want you to take notice of how much volume is here. Okay, and how that entire complete, almost 90 degrees straight back is completely gone. And the reason that is gone is because we used a lot of tension and we were very intentional with how we directed the air down the shaft of my hair. So what I want you to do now is I want you to run your fingers through your hair and finalize how you want your layers to look. And then this is the part here where, like my bangs, I love for my bangs to be super full that way, but at the very end, I love to go back and just put a tiny bit of backwards bend on my bangs because I love for them to have just that really soft, soft bend on them. So all I do here is I work behind them. I work on low heat right here. And just do a very, very, very subtle bend on the end. So that is how I finalize my straight bombshell blowout look. So you can see we're not frizzy. We are not frizzy. We are completely smooth and we are not wiry. And all of these little new growth things up here, I deal with those by taking one pump of toner right on my hand and then smoothing those little guys right down just to give them a little bit of extra weight. So this is how you can have a salon quality bombshell blowout at home. Thanks guys.